Hi, welcome to 100% LCFC TV. I'm here with Jim, who's uh, from Crystal Palace Fan TV himself. Hi, Jim. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thanks for having me. So, we're looking forward to Saturday's game where Crystal Palace come to Leicester. Initial thoughts after your sort of slightly disappointing defeat to West Ham, Jim? Yeah, it was disappointing. We didn't play very well. but West Ham played very well. Probably the best team we've seen at Selhurst. And uh, we, we didn't really have much to, to match them with. We were quite compact. Uh, in that old kind of t Tony Pulis style we used to do a couple of seasons ago, but um, we didn't have a lot going forward, didn't really work for us. And then Dwight Gale got sent off and that changed the whole complexion of the game. But we are, like West Ham, we are better away from home at the moment than we are at Selhurst. Yeah. Um, Counter-attacking, Jim? Counter-attacking? Yeah, I think... You've got some think, flying wingers, haven't you? We do, and on their day, they can be very good and they can really win games for us. Uh, yeah. Zaha has had a season where he's sort of been patchy, but when he's been on form, he's been a real match winner. And the way we set up, I think, get, sets us to play on the counter-attack. So if, we, if we're solid and they have good games, then we can certainly cause you trouble, but um, I do think we'll probably also concede. Well, that's one thing I can guarantee you Leicester will let a goal in on Saturday. It's, <laughs> we just can't keep a clean sheet to save us lives, which is surprising because the back four looks pretty solid and the deep keeper, Casper Schmeichel, looks good, but can't keep a clean sheet. Good for the neutrals. <laughs> it's going to be one of those games. I think uh, I mean, going forward, we've got obviously Jamie and Vardy and Marez are on fire, um, but we've got plenty of goals in us. So who's going to be your surprise man that we perhaps weren't thinking is going to come and catch us out? Uh, I would say Johan Kabay, but he's probably not a surprise no. to many Leicester fans. I think everyone knows about him, and he has been very, very, very good yeah. for us. You know, record signing for us, but so far it's looking like that is that is money well spent. As for a surprise, possibly someone like uh, James MacArthur. He's yeah. been really good for us in midfield. Uh, signed at the start of last season, been very consistent. Bit of an all rounder. Doesn't really excel at one thing. Is just good at good at everything. And playing alongside Kabai has really stepped up his game. So if he has a good game alongside Kabai, then and we can try and grab that midfield. That could be an area I think we could possibly try and dominate the game. Yeah. That would really be good for us. Um, but yeah, I'd say otherwise, surprise packages. I don't think we have many because everyone sort of talks about our wingers no. and Kabai and stuff. So I don't think there's going to be many surprises for Leicester fans. M MacArthur will probably be looking forward to having a game where he's not grabbed on the touchline yeah. and strangled and throttled by our well, manager, maybe. Probably, un unless Ranieri does a very un Ranieri thing, or, you know, <laughs> unless he <laughs> changes his mind. But yeah, that would be nice for him to not be attacked. That was slightly weird last, last season. It was bizarre, and, and wasn't it? It was so yeah. weird. I've had lots of people try and tell me it was friendly banter, but I'm, I don't see that. As it didn't look banter. like it, did it? It didn't look friendly. I've I, I've personally never greeted any of my friends by throttling them on the floor. <laughs> no. So I mean, we we lost Nigel Pearson, which uh, you know came with a mixed response. But uh, Alan Pardew, I think at at Palace, he looks like he's settled in, and, and you guys are going from strength to strength under him. He's he's been fantastic. Uh, we're still in the honeymoon period, really, with him, and we're very much loving him. Ex-player wasn't a brilliant player for us, but a bit of a cult hero, uh, very oh, confident. Gosh. Yeah, <laughs> he uh, before my time. It was before my time, but uh, he did score that goal against Liverpool in the 1990 uh, FA Cup semi-final that elevated him to to cult yeah. hero status. But as a manager, we all know he's very confident. You know, bordering on arrogant potentially, but you you probably need that at this level. Um, he's. Tactically, so far, look good. He's made the right substitutions. He's changed it around when it's not working. It's been great so far. We're, we are still in that honeymoon period, you know, early relationship yeah. stages, and it will turn sour at some point. But I still think he's going to get the backing of the Palace fans way more than a lot of previous managers would have done. I think there'll be many Newcastle fans at the moment wishing they hadn't got rid of him. I like that how you yeah. say, we know it'll go sour at some point, though. <laughs> but You've it's Palace, isn't it? You already it's know. It's That's Palace. Something's <laughs> yeah. going to happen. The last, the last two seasons, something's gone wrong, hasn't it? And, yeah. and we've done very well to recover both times, to be fair. But it is Palace. I mean, since I've been supporting them, they've gone into administration twice. You know, and I'm only 31. It's, it's, yeah. it, it, we're just that club, and, and I'm sure Leicester fans see it the same way sometimes. Yeah. Your, your club is always on the cusp of the next crisis. It's just, it's just what you do. We have half the fans at Leicester saying we're going to get in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> if we could. Half of us think, well, let's just stay up, and the, the other half, if you can have three halves, think we're going to get relegated again. You know what I mean. Yeah, Anything exactly. could happen. And the same yeah. for Palace. Um, yeah. Jim, let's let's finish with a little score prediction from yourself. Uh, I reckon there'll be goals, as you said earlier, um, and yeah. I think they'll it'll be two two. I think I, I possibly a sneaky two one for Palace. I, I, I think two, I think two two probably a solid no. two two. 
your sneaky two one's never going to happen but you will score and I think we <laughs> might beat you three two Jim before you go can you do me a massive favour and I know, I know yes. Palace fans are very similar to Leicester fans we've got a minute's applause for a young lad called Aaron who unfortunately died in the summer he was only 25 he was a massive Leicester fan uh, on the 22nd minute we're going to have a minute's applause uh, the fans are arranging it and they've asked 100% LCFC to try and promote it. I thought while I'm chatting to you, I know the Palace fans will at least stand there and respect it. But if, mm-hmm. if you could pass on to them what it's about and why, why it's happening, then, you know, not expecting them necessarily to join in, although I think they might. But if you could just pass that on, that'd be great. Definitely. But Palace fans are a good bunch. They're a respectful yeah. bunch and, and they'll definitely respect that. And, and I, I expect they'll definitely join in as well. So yeah, I'll def- definitely do that. Thanks, Jim. Thanks for joining us on 100% LCFC TV and we'll chat next week after the game. Definitely. Thanks, mate. Take care. Goodbye.